Good morning, y'all. It is a Saturday morning in late July, and I'm absolutely blown away that it's late July. I went back and looked at my last couple of videos, just a glance at them this morning as I was getting things ready for this one so that I could kind of see what my progress was and if I'd made any on some of my projects. And um, as I was getting through the first part of those videos, I noticed that I frequently come on and talk about my hair or what it's doing or how bad it looks. And, and I have to laugh because so many of us do that. Oh, I'm having a bad hair day. We're so funny, aren't we, we women? We just get focused on things like that and we need to get over it. So I'm not even going to talk about my hair today, although I already have, haven't I? Oh my gosh. Anyway, for those of you that have asked about my aunt, she is doing very well. She had pneumonia this last couple of weeks, but she's over that, and um, she is going to start outpatient therapy instead of home therapy. Next week, they're going to start uh, having her use a walker because she is having some regrowth of the bone, which is uh, an answer to prayer. We were afraid because of the steroids that she takes for her breathing that she might not achieve that but she's doing well so thank you so much for asking we've had a, a busy week our granddaughter's moving today so my husband's out helping with that um, it's hot it's hotter than blue blazes it probably is where you are unless you're in Australia or somewhere like that I hate that they're having to make that move today but you know that's just uh, timing is not always good. Every move we've ever made has been in the summertime because we were in education and we always moved between semesters. Anyhow, we the tree guys came this week. Yay! And we had five trees taken down. Yes, I love trees and I still have, um, I think, 18 left in the backyard, y'all. So don't grieve over those trees. Two of them were dead. One of them was leaning over my driveway um, and I, it, we worried it was a Bradford pear, and those are so bad to split when the wind gets really high. We had one do that already and fall on the top of the, the cab of my husband's truck, several thousand dollars worth of damage. So we took that one down, and then we had two other great, big, huge gum trees. I wish you all could have seen the tree guys take that big one down. One of them climbed it took it off branch by branch before he laid it down, and it was so blooming hot. I felt so bad for him. He, he actually came by yesterday, and he took two days off work after he got through doing that because of the heat. So I'm just uh, I'm kind of saying that because I want all of you to be really careful uh, in getting out into this stuff. I'm trying to stay in as much as I can. So let's move on to all the stitchy stuff, okay? Got my glasses going today, y'all. No contacts. Um, first of all, I want to do a couple of shout outs for some new floss tubers. One is, I'm not sure about the pronunciation, but I think it's Yanni Stitcher, Y A N Y Stitcher. And I think that's all one word. She is, uh, she lives in Mexico, and y'all, I'm speechless, absolutely speechless. You have got to go. She only has two videos up. Watch both of them. Her work, she does huge pieces, huge. And stunning is all I can say, absolutely stunning. And the other one I want to shout out is Caroline at Off the Grid Needle Arts. She's in Canada. She has a, a, such a soft, sweet manner about her does beautiful stitching and she's also a knitter and has a little Etsy shop for some bags that she and her, I believe it's her sister-in-law, make. Um, she has some beautiful work going on too, so y'all watch that. I got, well, let me do this first. I'm going to show you what I have finished. Um, last time I was on, I told you that I was going to Work on Liberty until it was done. I'm going to have a bad glare. I, can y'all tell I've changed stitching spots again? I know you think I'm crazy, don't you? Can't help it, but I actually love it where I am right now. Lots of different reasons. For one thing, I'm closer to the television, and I can actually see it, and I can read the words when I'm trying to look at YouTube. 
before I was across the room and it was too far and I couldn't see it and I actually went and looked at a new television, a great big one, thinking, okay, maybe I can read that, but no, I just moved my chair closer and saved myself a thousand bucks. Um, so anyway, different spot, little bit of a glare coming off the water out there, but Liberty is what I was working on. This is a Brenda Gervais pattern <clears throat> and I finished it. I, um, let's see, are we in there? Yeah, we're in there. Um, I don't know what this fabric is. I don't remember, but I dyed it with uh, coffee and tea. I used, I converted it to DMC, the threads, and I like them very well. Uh, I'm pretty much a stickler for using the called for threads normally, but you know, I figured, how can you mess up red, white, and blue and gold? Not, not so much. So, um, I like that. It turned out well. And then... I focused on Boo, also a Brenda Gervais pattern, and this one, I did not use the call for fabric. Let's see, what is this called? This is called, um, well, shoot, I made a note, oh, there it is, 32 count Hodigan's Ghost, and I did use the called for threads on this one. Um, because that boo, it's in the color corn husk uh, from, I forget who it's from. Anyway, and I decided to stitch this. I normally stitch two threads over two, but I decided to do one over on this one because I wanted the ghosts to sh kind of show through behind the lettering. And it worked out perfectly. It looks almost like, well, like a ghost. Isn't that cool? I love the way that turned out. That's the only two um, cross-stitching things that I finished this month. This not this month. It's only been a couple of weeks, hasn't it? But I also made some zipper bags. This is the first one. Look at those owls. Aren't they adorable? And I put a little key pull chain on it. I don't know what size this is. Um, I don't know how big I'm. You know, I just, what I do is whatever fabric I got is whatever size I make. Oh, it fits a magazine. So if that helps you any, fits a magazine. And I'm actually thinking about selling these three bags. I don't need them. I've got 20 or 25. I just like making them. And I have so much fabric left from my quilting days. So tell me what you think about that. Here's the second one that I made. I absolutely love this fabric. It's a little bit different. The owl one has the zipper at the top. And this one, uh, the zipper is down a little ways. This is the fabric on the inside. It's a matching, not a matching, but you know what I'm saying, coordinating fabric. And I just put a little ribbon on the zipper pull on that one. And this one, I just love this. This is adorable. Look, look at the little uh, ribbon, little polka dot ribbon with a matching polka dot ribbon on the zipper pull. And inside, I put a solid red. So, I think I might sell those three. If anybody's interested, just leave me a comment down below. Um, and I have no idea how much to charge. I've never bought one. I guess we'll talk about it if you want it. Um, and then, y'all, I thought I was old enough to be past peer pressure. No, I'm not. Dina at Half Stitch Cross Stitch, love you Miss Dina, is going to start a stitch along August the 1st on Nantucket Rose. Well, when she announced that, I had just watched her video and I went over to one of the Cross Stitch Unload sites, I don't remember which one, and uh, 
there it was, lo and behold, Nantucket Rose. Well, I just snatched it right up. Because if Dina was going to stitch it, then obviously I should stitch it too. But honestly, y'all, I have so many things already started and so many things kitted up that I want to do so badly that I think I'm going to give up before I start. Dana, I'm so sorry. I can't do it. So here's the deal. If you would like to stitch along with Dina and everybody else who's going to be stitching Nantucket rows, I'm going to give this away. I'm going to pass the stash. If you are interested, please don't say giveaway in your comment. Just say, I would love to stitch Nantucket rows. And I will. It probably won't get to you by August the 1st, but... I will, let's say today is, I don't know what today is. Today is the 22nd. So I'll wait about five days or so, uh, and I'll draw a name for Nantucket Rose and try to get it to you as close to the first as I can. And I'm going to say United States only on this one, um, since I'm trying to get it to someone to start close to the first anyway. I had some um, random acts of kindness this time, um, several of them, sweet people, just sweet people. Sylvia at Becky's Land had stitched Sweet Violet by Brenda Gervais, and I just thought it was the sweetest picture, the sweetest little print. Um, it's just an adorable pattern. And I told her I loved it. I thought it was so pretty. It's just, it looks like it ought to, it's so feminine, and, and I'm thinking one of my granddaughters might love that. And she sent it to me. And not only did she send me the pattern, but she sent me some trim, some ribbon to go with it. How awesome is that? And she also tucked in this little pattern called Buzz by Ben Benchbury. Y'all know I love bees. Just love them. I think I'm, uh, maybe because my sister keeps bees, um, but I want to stitch this one pretty soon, and I'm going to, uh, on my wish list is, um, what is the name of that one? By Annie B's Folk Art. God Save the Queen? I've got that on my wish list at um, 1, 2, 3, Stitch, so next time I place an order, I'm going to get that one. Um, and Taryn, I think I may have told y'all this last time, but did I show you this magazine that she sent me, Uncle Sam? I think I did. That's okay. You can look at him twice. He's cute to look at. I want to stitch that one, too, and Taryn sent that to me. She just finished it, and if you haven't seen her video uh, that shows that, you should go look at it because it is just adorable. And then Yvonne... Night Owl Stitcher. I can't, she didn't have the cover of this. She couldn't find it, and she only found the chart, but she sent me the chart. So I can't really show you, but it's the verse from Ecclesiastes to everything there is a season. Uh, and it's a sort of sampler, and there's really nothing at all here I can show you except the folder she sent it in. Yvonne, thank you so much, honey. I, I, um, Look forward to stitching that one as well. What am I working on? Well, I'm, I promised myself if I had two finishes, I could have one new start. I have not worked on, I have Nathan Hale. Haven't started him. Haven't worked any more on Let Freedom Ring. Haven't worked any more on Special Delivery. Haven't worked on any more her, uh, heaven and nature thing did I say that haven't worked on any of those it's Michelle Rudy's fault not mine it's farm girl she stitched from primitive where is that magazine um here it is punch needle and primitive stitcher she stitched 
this guy. Woolens. Is that adorable or what? Too cute. So, of course, that was my new start. And this is how far I've gotten, except not really. Because I am a half stitch off right here. Half stitch off. And it's got to come out. I'm scared to look, but I'm pretty sure that made these all be off, too. I already had stitching here. What I was going to do, I stitched just the outside here, and I was going to stitch just the outside there. And with these done, all I had to do was fill in the white. Well, all of this was off. Yeah, all of it. Anyway, I stitched the face and the ears one thread over two, and then switched to two threads over for the white and the brown to make it have a little bit more texture for his coat. So that's how far I am on that one. I think I think I'm going to um, I really want to finish him. But I might not. I may go ahead. I need to work on some of my other whips. Um, so he may get, when I get all this, these stitches taken out today, he may have to go away for a little while. I'm really pretty angry at him. Um, let's see, what else is on my list? Did that, did that. Um, yep, did all of that, except... I bought a few things. If you're not interested in seeing those, and I know some people don't care for that, um, then I, I'm going straight on to what I bought this time. Um, I bought this magazine called Ultimate Cross Stitch Cards, and it is volume 13, 2017. This is uh, a British magazine. And, y'all, it's full of small things, very small things, for cards, prom you know, that's that's what it was done for. And I primarily bought it for these sunflowers. I love the sunflowers. Um, so I want to do a couple of those for one of my bowls. It has a lot of other adorable patterns in it. And I, I really can't show you because the charts are right there. Um, I can't. There's, I just can't find any way to show it to you without showing the chart. So, but it's a great magazine if anybody's interested. Then I bought um, from Works by ABC one of our floss tubers. This pattern called "Do All the Good You Can." You may be familiar with this saying. Uh, it is attributed to John Wesley, who was the founder of the Methodist Church. Um, it is a mantra, I suppose is a good, a good word, a, a, a motto for um, everyone who does mission work. It is something that my husband has this on a t-shirt that he got on one of his mission trips to Mexico. So it's an especial favorite of ours. And it says... Do all the good you can, by all the means you can, in all the ways you can, in all the places you can, at all the times you can, to all the people you can, as long as ever you can. And she included in this two borders. I don't know which one I'm going to do. Probably the floral. I'm thinking the floral, probably. And I'm going to, oh, maybe not. Maybe I'll do the other one and make a pillow. I don't know. I don't know. I just know I want to stitch it, and I love it. And then I bought off of e a couple of things off of eBay, which is very unusual for me. I don't do that very much. But this one, this is a kit, and it's called... Um, Pray, I don't know what that is. It's from the Praying Hands, Joy in the Journey, from the Praying Hands Collection, 
blessed is the life that finds joy in the journey. Um, this is a part of a prayer that that I uh, particularly like to pray. Um, I I am one of those people that Monday through Friday I have a morning devotion time, and in my prayer I. In my prayer time, I usually ask God to help me to find joy in my journey um, and to spread that joy to others. So that's another one I look forward to stitching. And I also bought this Home for the Holidays by Blackbird Designs. This one, I loved this right here. I'm pretty much anything birds or bees. I love it. But it has stockings, alphabet stockings, and it goes through three or four letters on each one. It goes all the way through the alphabet. Very sweet. Very sweet things. And the last thing that I bought was the latest Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine. Looks like this. And this is my favorite in this magazine. Now, y'all look. First of all, the pattern itself, Americana 1776, who wouldn't love that? But look how they finished this. They've put it, I don't know, I didn't read to see how they attached it, but they've attached it to the front of a wooden planter. What a great idea. And I'm wondering, you know, if you couldn't just do that, I wouldn't want it maybe to be permanent. I might, but I don't think so. Um, but that's something to think about. And that's the last of what I bought. Short video today. Y'all know I like to keep them short. They're a lot easier to upload if you keep them short. Anyway, uh, y'all be careful. Be safe. Stitch a lot on these hot days in the air conditioning. And have a good weekend. Bye-bye.